Okay guys, I'm just a uh, bit of a tip here. When char charging the uh, proprietary battery that comes with the FW450, um, I've got it plugged at the moment into my T240. And you'll see I've got channel 1 there set to 100 watt. It doesn't have to be. But if I'm charging only one battery at a time, I'll just use that channel 1. Um, another thing, if we get out of there and we go to monitor, uh, I can either balance that battery or um, you can look at the internal resistance. Now you've got milliohms there between 50 and looks like 42. Now, generally that would be quite high on a standard LiPo, but apparently with high voltage LiPos that's, you know, acceptable. Uh, so that's something to look out for. And if we get out of there, you should be charging, instead of choosing LiPo, you should be choosing lithium high voltage, that one. Now if you have a look there, the end voltage is 4.35 per cell. Uh, try and focus that. Is that focusing? Yeah, I'm focusing now. Yeah. I've got a charge current set to 4.4, which is uh, okay. It's a 4,450 milliamp hour battery, so 4.4 is fine. And uh, I can just press start there and go to the cell. Um, I think a lot of the problems with these batteries is that uh, they're only being charged as a normal LiPo with an end voltage of 4.2 so the air time is quite low perhaps only five minutes. That doesn't affect most people um, but yeah so that's how they should be charged, like that. I'll just back out of there and uh, stop that. So yeah, that's, um, let's uh, try and focus. The focusing on this is really bad. Yeah, there we go. So that was a quick one, just to just give you a bit of a rundown um, on balance charge, internal resistance, and the appropriate uh, Oh, it's just turned off, has it? No. Alrighty, so thanks very much for that, and we'll catch you later. Okay, bye.